Hey everyone, Mr. Erdreich here, and today I'm sharing my favorite brainstorming method, the morphological chart. So a morphological chart or morph chart allows us to come up with a bunch of different design categories and constraints and ideas to develop a prototype solution really quickly through a fun and creative way. From there, we can combine or morph all of these ideas into our final prototype. And this is an extremely effective way to come up with unique solutions for problems of any size or prototypes or projects that you're working on. So now that you know about it, let's see how to do it. So I'm going to be using the morphological planning chart sample template, which you can download from my website for free. But to be very clear, morph charts can come in all different shapes and sizes. So this one has four design ideas across four design categories, but this could be infinite or smaller just to help you come up with a lot of different ideas. Now, the way that this works is that we first establish some design categories for whatever it is that we're creating. And then we come up with possible ideas for that design category. And what I mean by a design category is like an aesthetic or physical design. So we wouldn't necessarily think of uh, price or the way that something's going to be manufactured because we haven't gotten there yet. What is it going to look like? So for this, we're going to be making soap. Now, I know you might be thinking I'm not an expert of soap design, but hopefully you've washed your hands before. And if that's the case, you know everything you need to know. So what's the first design category for soap? Well, uh, the first thing that comes to mind for me might be the smell or the scent. So I'm going to write smell in my design category right here. Now I need to come up with four possible ideas for smell. And clearly there are thousands of ideas. And instead of just writing an idea, I'm going to draw it. So I'm going to draw a picture that helps explain that idea. So for example, maybe the first thing I think of is apple. So I'm going to draw, not very well, an apple. And maybe we can go ahead and color this in. Perfect. Now I need to come up with three more. So maybe I'm thinking lavender, because that's a flower that I know how to draw. So I'm totally cheating for the camera. But obviously your morph chart does need to match mine. And then I'm thinking maybe a beach. And of course, bacon. Okay, first design category done, now on to the next one. So there's a lot of things we can consider, but I'm thinking shape. What shape do we want our soap to be? Now, first, listen, there's of course a couple obvious answers here. So like we could make our soap the shape of a bar, right? Or maybe we make our soap some type of oval. But as a designer using a morph chart, we want to come up with a couple really unique ideas that might differ from the out of norm things you might see. So I'm thinking maybe some rubber duck shaped soap. Another shape might be, well, what do you think? What about logo shaped soap? What if on my soap website or my soap company, you could go ahead and upload your own picture or your own image or your own logo. I think that would be a pretty creative soap design thing here. All right, another category down. So for my next category, I'm thinking the texture of what my soap might feel like. And this one might be a little hard to draw. So for example, how might I draw bumpy? So bumpy, like exfoliating soap. Well, for me, I think of bumpy roads. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a road. My next texture I'm thinking is bubbly or foamy. For my next texture, I'm thinking soft. And lastly, what about slimy? Slimy soap. Maybe this might be prank soap that you're going to buy from me. And everyone thinks it's going to be soft and foamy and it ends up being slimy. And I bet I'll make a fortune. Especially if it's bacon scented. All right. We need one more design category. And clearly we could go on forever here. 
But I think my last design category is going to be size. How large will my soap be? Will it be, for example, travel size? So is it gonna be soap that you're gonna wanna put inside your suitcase and take with you? Or perhaps it's gonna be the size of, um, I'm thinking the size of like a whiteboard eraser, or maybe the size of my soap is actually just gonna be massive. So let's say that you're in the shower and the wall of the shower is my soap. And I think for this last one, we'll keep it a little bit more realistic and make it the size of a typical smartphone. Okay, so in a very short amount of time, we've come up with 16 different ideas to develop a common solution soap. And this is where the morphological chart comes together because now it's time to morph our ideas together. So for example, and you of course can do this differently because your soap might differ from mine. I want my soap to smell like a beach, but I want it to be in the shape of a duck and I want it to be foamy and the size of a smartphone. And now I just designed my prototype solution after coming up with a lot of ideas rather quickly. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned quite a bit or at the very least some useful tips and tricks and tools to help create awesome things as you come up with amazing ideas. Take a minute to press that subscribe button and check out more resources on www.mrerdreich.com as well as stay tuned for future projects, lessons, and different tutorials on the at Mr. Erdreich social channels or the Mr. E Digital Classroom YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy creating.